Uh, they say you can think about the history, you can think about the money. Calvin Riley was left a decision to sell thousands of artifacts or to start a museum. But they weren't just any artifacts. It was thousands of collectibles featuring George B. Vachon and his family. Vachon was an African-American lawyer denied the right to practice because of his race. Didn't really know what they were. We took them over to the Missouri History Museum and was told that they was the greatest find ever to have an African-American family artifacts intact. In 2015, he opened the doors of the George B. Vachon Museum. Today, he estimates there's nearly 100,000 artifacts dedicated to African-American history between these four walls. The last three years, he's worked on becoming a first-time author, digitizing the museum's history in his new book, Black St. Louis. It contains a lot of early St. Louis history from the 1700s when St. Louis was founded uh, as a first uh, trading city. Director Calvin Riley says he collected his first ever artifact in graduate school. He uses every day as an opportunity to collect more, knowing if he doesn't, that's history lost. The good, bad, and the ugly. What goes through your mind when you have families and people come in and, and donate these things? Well, because they, they let me know they care about history. They didn't just want to destroy it and, and, and uh, just throw it in the trash because they wanted, want the people to know what went on. Upstairs, the history continues. And a lot of people come here and they see his collection and they say, I watched him as a little kid. He not only was a, a newscaster, he wrote books. He went out around the community and talked to people. For Riley, the story is unwritten. He has plans to open a permanent exhibit this spring dedicated to the Divine Nine that includes black sororities and fraternities. The information is there. You just dig for it. It's there. It's documented. And so nothing has to be made up. You don't have to fabricate it. Just tell the truth. Reporting in St. Louis, Diamond Palmer, 5 on your side.